Hello, this is Cersei Denier with PCTechsOnline.com. I'm here to record a video to help users do regular computer maintenance on their computers without the help of a technician. The first thing we're going to look at is cleaning temporary files from the computer. This series should help you do your own routine computer maintenance and to help you keep your computer running smoothly. We're going to access the Windows Utility Disk Cleanup in this video. This utility will clear out temporary files not currently in use. The process is safe and will show you the disk space used for these files. To access the Windows Disk Cleanup Utility, right-click on My Computer click on Explore, and then right-click on Local Disk C and click Properties. What you see here is the dialog box for the Disk Cleanup Utility. The pink area is the free space your computer has, and the blue space is the space that is used by files, temporary files, everything else. We're going to click on Disk Cleanup to start the cleanup process. The Disk Cleanup utility calculates the space being used by these temporary files so it can show it to you in a dialog box and list. While this is calculating, I'd like to tell you that this is a safe process. If something happens to your Windows operating system during this process, it is because the Windows operating system is sitting on a piece of the hard drive that is either malfunctioning or, or getting worn out. This particular process does not destroy any part of your computer or Windows operating system. And this process in of itself is a completely safe process. This process should be done at least every two weeks, perhaps every month. The more you do it, the better your computer will run. In the Disk Cleanup dialog box you see certain boxes checked off and certain boxes are not checked off. The two at the bottom do not need to be checked and I do not recommend checking them as part of this disk cleanup. Compress old files and catalog files for the content indexer do not need to be checked. But do make sure all of the other selections are checked off so that they will be deleted. Click OK when you're sure. Click Yes. The Disk Cleanup Utility begins to clean all the different sections that you have selected. When it's done, the dialog box closes and returns you to the Local Disk Properties box. When you're finished with this window, you can click OK. And then you may click OK, the red X at the top right corner to close this dialog box. That's all there is to Windows Utility Disk Cleanup. Remember, if you have any difficulty with your computer or you need help, PCTechsOnline.com is here to help you. Thanks.